This is an aeroboat window. We have five of these on our boat. And some people have called them bus windows because they're similar to what used to be on buses. So they're not very big. And we had curtains that came with the boat and I will show you the picture of the curtains. Uh, and they were nice, they were in good condition. I washed them, they were fine. Unfortunately, they weren't exactly the color or the style that I was after. I wanted something a little more designer. And so we set out to look at different curtain materials to see what was available. And I know you've heard the old expression, champagne taste and beer budget. Well, that's me. I have a champagne taste and a beer budget. And I naturally liked the thing that I couldn't really afford. So anyway, we began to uh, have a conversation with someone who sold the material that I liked, which was Morris & Co. And they gave us a quote for four windows. This window was just going to get like a mini blind or something, you know, like that. But just four windows, four bus size windows, right? And then I got the sticker shock, which was a thousand pounds. And I thought, you have got to be kidding. And that's when I said, okay, I'm going to have to come up with a different solution. And that's what today's video is about, how we came up with a different solution. So I hope you enjoy it. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe and hit the like button if you like the video. It helps our channel grow. Thanks. Bye. So I began to look around online to get some ideas and I noticed that people were lengthening curtains by using a different fabric that still was in the same color family or they might use an expensive fabric as trim. And so I got to thinking that might be a possibility. This is one of the panels that I bought at a charity shop. As you can see, it's very long and it's quite wide. Um, it's a good width. And uh, what I intend to do, I'm taking this apart now. I've already taken the other one apart. So I've separated the lining from the actual curtain fabric itself uh, because I'm going to reuse all this. And then uh, I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to uh, sew some of this in it. This was the expensive fabric that um, I really couldn't afford the curtains to be made in, um, but I managed to get some online, uh, just 2.8 meters, um, and I got it at half price, so I figured I'd trim these curtains. I was looking for the blue for the longest time, I'd go into charity shop after charity shop and was never finding it. But fortunately, uh, I found them. And so now I'm just taking them apart. And then hopefully in the next couple of weeks, I'll be able to secure a table in a sewing uh, shop where I can actually measure and cut all the fabric to begin uh, putting these together. So this is the size of the dinette table in the narrow boat. And you'll see from how small it is, that there was no way I was going to be able to lay out material, measure it, cut it. So I began to look around some of the local craft shops and sewing shops to see if anyone would rent me a table um, so that I could cut the material. And uh, fortunately, I found a lovely person at Long Ridge Haberdasher, 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 why do you say that? Haberdashery? Haberdashery. Or we'll have it near, right? <laughs> this is a picture of Catherine Reed. She's the owner of Long Ridge Haberdashery, and she was ever so helpful. She allowed me to uh, rent one of her tables by just um, doing a private class with her for about an hour and a half. And she helped me to figure out how to put the pieces together, what would be the best way that I could get the most out of the um, designer material and make sure that I had enough uh, for each of the curtains. Today, I serviced my sewing machine. Um, really pleased, the sewing machine was given to me. It was on free cycle and I said, yeah, I'll have that, thank you very much. Because I had sold mine when we moved from the States because it wouldn't have worked over here. And um, so I've never had it serviced and I found a video on YouTube which was really good and it just kind of took you through the steps, step by step. So I managed to do my own servicing which saved us 40 quid and the sewing machine seems to be working brilliantly and I am on my very first curtain getting ready to start. So wish me luck. 
updates later. Bye. So this is the header tape, and here is the first panel of the curtains. As you can see, I used the lining and lined them. So this is the first pair Carol's done with its trim. This is like a nice, nice um, velvet. green velvet. And this is the Liberty Company, or the Morris Company, I think, Morris isn't it? Co. Morris & Co. panel. And then the blue that she got from the charity shop. It's all tying in quite nicely. This green kind of picks up some other material that we've got to make. Oh, good that Carol's going to make a, a door curtain with, aren't you? Yeah, and um, I'm going to attempt to make a Roman blind for about the kitchen sink. If I can find a good YouTube video. I watched a really good YouTube video on how to make line curtains, and that's how I made these, so I will put that in the description. Here's a couple of pictures of the curtains in daylight. My door curtain was also a charity shop fine. It cost me 10 pounds for this green velvet curtain, and all I needed to do was shorten it, and I added some yellow ribbon. So today, uh, I'm taking this roller blind, which I cannot believe how well it goes with the curtain fabric. And it came this way. Rob spotted it, and it, it was a really good deal. So we're going to use this over top of the kitchen sink. And what I'm doing at the moment, you may be able to see that, is I am measuring with this, uh, with this measuring guide. I'm uh, drawing a little bit of blue chalk on each of the spaces until I have it completely across. And then what my goal is, is to add this ribbon to bring it into keeping with the rest of the windows. So make it a bit more decorative. Um, so that's what I'm gonna be doing and uh, I'll show you the update later. So this is the finished uh, curtains in the boat, and we think it's quite cozy and comfy, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button, and please subscribe. Have a good one. Bye.